Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I am the founder and CEO of a business that teaches antique lovers how to create successful antique selling businesses that they love. And one of my favorite things to do is to share my recent vintage finds, talk about them a little bit, and tell you what I paid for them and what I think they're worth. So why don't we jump into today's finds, okay? I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, if you would visit my blog, if you would join my private Facebook group. It's called Your Vintage Headquarters. I hope to see you over there. Why don't we jump right in with today's finds. This is one of my favorites. I love ironstone and I love cheap ironstone. Look at this, $2. It does have a very little bit of an issue right here, little kind of surface crack, but other than that, it is in really good shape, no chips, and it's made by Wedgwood. This is the first piece of white ironstone that I've had um, by Wedgwood. And even with that little flaw, I would value it at about $40, $45. I just sold a very similar English pitcher like this one that had a very little chip out of the bottom and it sold for $40. Now on the same day that I found the pitcher, I found a basin at a separate sale. This was a, a community wide sale and at a church in the community and this was a dollar. <laughs> I believe it's American ironstone. It has a nice mark on the bottom. Um, I, I don't know, that's just my feeling that Cook and Hancock is American. It could be English. Perfect condition, needs a little cleaning. And I think in my booth I might display them like this. Um, obviously, they weren't made to go together and the pitcher is a bit small for this size basin, but somebody might want to buy them together. So I'll price them separately, but have a price if they decide to buy them both. And I have an article on my blog all about selling ironstone. I have a blog of, or a post about collecting. I have a price guide on ironstone. And then I recently wrote this article about um, what's selling for me on Etsy and where to sell different kinds of ironstone and, and white restaurant wear. This piece I bought at that same church sale. It was also a dollar. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's this uh, also ironstone, but with this beautiful um, kind of aesthetic period brown transfer wear design. And this company is um, called Ashford, Ashford, and it is definitely English. I would value it at about, I'm hoping in the 45 to $55 range. Um, I also picked up a little cheese crop. This was from a thrift store. I paid $2.99. Uh, it will sell immediately for me for about $10, probably $12 since it has its lid. And I have a bit of a collection of cheese crocs because I am planning, yes, you guessed it, an article about cheese crocs. Last piece of china are a few butter pats. Isn't that pretty? These are Limoges. And here's the mark on the back. And I think that on Etsy they will sell for possibly $15 for the pair. They don't sell well or quickly for me for my antique booth. And then here to another pair, and these are Austrian. Aren't they sweet with the little pink flowers? Just want to make sure that it was right side up. And I do have an entire blog post about butter pats that is fun, lots and lots of examples and discussion of where they come from and what their values are. So that's it for the china and pottery. Let's move on to some metal. At an estate sale, I came across a number of coffee cans. They were 50 cents each, so of course, I bought them all. <laughs> 
I love them. They don't sell super great for me, but I think they really brighten up an antique booth. And so for 50 cents each, that was worth it to me. This one is a little bit older than the others. I will probably put $8 on this one and then $5 on each of these. And I do, I have a lid for one of them. Here's a piece I consider an accessory. It's new, <clears throat> it's not It's not old, but it has a great look. I might even paint it black and sell it for 10 to $12. It's also the kind of thing that you put in your booth and it's attractive, it's striking, especially if it were black. Here's a little uh, worm container for fishing. These look really cute if you put something in them, like succulents, which I have a whole stock of for decorating with. It was 50 cents and I will sell it for $10. I bought a whole um, box full of metal bits and bobs for $5 and I pulled out a few things to show you. There's a lot in there, but this pair of handles, which I would sell from my booth for 10, 10 to $12. I'm going to use them. I like to make trays out of cupboard doors um, and that sort of thing. And I think these would be really great. Great farmhouse style. And the other thing I pulled out were these really awesome hooks. I will probably sell these as a pair for maybe 15 to 18 dollars and then this one for six to eight dollars that was a really fun box to go through i picked up a couple of tools this one obviously for 50 cents it needs some work on the rust i have a blog post about managing rust and i will i'll wax the handle and that will sell for 10 to 12 dollars and then the other tool is this uh, wire cutter well, that's what I'm calling it. It's forged steel and it is signed Stanley, which is a, a, a great name in um, tools. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to find the signature. It's right there. Probably can't see it on camera anyway, but Stanley is very collectible. Even without the Stanley name, these would sell for $10. And I think with the Stanley name, they will go for about 20 $20. How about this cast iron iron? I haven't sold one of these in a long time, but for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. They make great door stops and paperweights and book ends, that sort of thing. I think it will sell for about $15. I'm going to clean it up a little bit rusty, right? going to work on that. Oil can sell well for me about ten dollars each depending on their size these are about ten and they each cost a dollar like this little blue one it was a little bit different not super old but different because i think collectors are looking for all different kinds of oil cans a little camping tea coffee pot cost a quarter and i will sell that for about ten and in the junk i forgot to show you the um the junk box that i got there was a tag i am not sure it's got a dial on it so i think i'm going to turn it into a pendant and then this little heart wrought iron hook thought that was cute eight to ten dollars great lantern they do sell replacement um you know glass shades and it's missing the the wick but it is perfectly set up to um, hold a candle candle will sit right here typically typically there's a little uh, curved piece of metal there that keeps you from putting things on it but and it's already red it's great for Christmas I sell these at Christmas with a candle and a little bit of greenery for 25 to 30 dollars each and I, I do have a blog post about that Okay, that's it for metal. Let's, I didn't buy much glass at all. I am not a huge fan of buying glass because it doesn't sell great right now, right? Remember that, especially clear glass. But this little green bottle for 
50 cents, came home with me. I have a, a small collection of green glass on my windowsill in my kitchen that I really love, so I will add that. It's If I were gonna sell it, I would sell it for about eight to $10. And then this pair of uh, wine bottle salt and pepper, these really date back to like the 70s, 1970s, and I think they'll sell for 10 or $12 as a set. A couple of wooden items, these little cute little breadboards, I'm gonna use them in a project of some sort. And then this little container from Germany. Uh, it's not marked Germany, um, but these little carved farm animals. I have sold these a few different times. These are not in great shape. I, I paid $2 for the container without really taking a close look. Uh, they, Like I said, they aren't in great shape. There's a little pig. I think there's a farmer in here. Here's the farmer. Here's a farmer. And a dog. In any event, if these were in better condition, there's about six pieces in there. Here's a cow, another cow. They would sell for about 20 to $30. These, not such great shape, so it'll be something less than that. And a couple of pieces of what I consider art. This is a folk art piece. Uh, the head of Jesus with the crown of thorns on the cross. It's signed on the back, 1959. And I I don't sell a lot of religious items, so I'm not super sure, but I think I will price him at about $35 to $40 on Etsy. And dog paintings always sell really well. This poor guy is in a plastic frame. I'm gonna take him out. Probably won't reframe him. I will just sell him as is, without a frame, probably in the $25 range. And he cost $1.99. Jesus cost a dollar at an estate sale. Okay, we're getting down to the end now. Here are a few books. This one is cool. It's a little uh, cookbook in a box. It's an Italian cookbook. It costs a dollar and I will probably price it at about 15 and I think I will try that on Etsy. I feel like that's an Etsy item. And here is a leather, little leather um, book. It's, uh, it's the Book of Psalms and it dates, look at that handwriting, 1848. Yeah, with a little swirl underneath. Oh, just love that. So uh, the, the leather is embossed. It's so beautiful. It costs a dollar. I think it's worth about 20 to $25. I'm currently working on a little golden book course. And so I pick them up whenever I find them. Eloise Wilkin is one of the most famous illustrators for little golden books. And this is a newer edition of an old book. They sell for me in good condition for anywhere from three to five or ten dollars, depending on their age and the edition, that sort of thing. And this is a 1983 edition of a Hershey's cookbook. Cookbook sells super great for me from my antique booth and from eBay. This one's worth about 10, I paid 50 cents. Helps for home nursing, isn't that interesting? I have had really good success selling nursing related items on eBay. I paid 50 cents for this and I'm hoping it will be worth about 10. And then Watkins Household Hints, super interesting because Watkins makes uh, extracts and used to make medicines and that sort of thing and there are some color pictures of the products inside and this dates to 1934 i haven't researched it yet i think it will sell well on ebay i'm thinking 10 to 20 dollars and that's books now 
Now for some what I call uh, pretty things or lady things. <laughs> Here's a nice little beaded purse that a, a lady would, a lady, a woman would have worn like that on her hand. It's not signed on the inside. It was $2 and the beaded purses have really declined in value over the last 10 years or so, but I think it would sell for about 10 to $15 on Etsy. And here's a mirror that I'm planning to put in my booth for people to use to um, check out jewelry that I have there. It cost a dollar. Beautiful sterling silver necklace. I picked up at a garage sale for $2. Crazy. Sterling silver rope chain and the pendant is sterling with this colored stone. I think it's worth about $30. And at the same sale, I picked up, they were a dollar each, a pair of sterling silver earrings worth about 10 to $15. And at a separate sale, really ornate butterfly brooch. She was 50 cents, not signed but the rhinestones are prong set, which is desirable and indicates higher quality. I suspect I can sell this for about 30 to $35 on Etsy. And then at a sale, they had a bin of this bath oil. They were 50 cents each. So I bought two and I opened one because I wanted to see the inside. It is a glass bottle on the inside. This Lentheric, that's the brand here. You can see it right here. Lentheric. I'm not sure that they're in business anymore, but I have sold, I sold a very large bottle of Lentheric, empty Lentheric perfume a couple of years ago for $45. So I decided it was worth the risk. I think these, I did a little bit of research. I think they will sell on eBay in the 15 to $25 range. That's what I'm expecting on those. And the last few items, a little bit bigger. Um, let me just make sure, oh no, here we go. Oh my gosh, we are getting down there. 50 cents for a thermos will sell for about $10 from my antique booth. Love this sewing kit. And the brand is a combination of Belding, Hemingway, and Corticelli. Those are um, all companies that made Sewing Notions thread in particular. And look, every single little spool is still there. And I have a blog article all about vintage thread so I'm looking forward to adding this to that article. I believe this is worth about 15 to 25 dollars. This is a nice faux lizard skin I would call that faux lizard crocodile something like that. It was two dollars and I just really really thought it was interesting it's missing the mirror, but look at this. This is a cover for whatever you would want to put inside. It's satin lined. It's not, it's not in perfect shape. It does have the original key though. And I think I will price that about 25 to $30. Really like that. Okay, let's look at the big things now. One of my absolute favorite finds nice old basket great shape little couple of um, issues a break right there and then a break right there I paid three dollars for it and I believe in this condition it's worth about 45 to 50 dollars would be slightly more if it was in perfect shape it's gonna be hard to part with this one. <laughs> I really, really like that a lot. And at the same sale, I picked up these groovy sort of, I don't know, like Buddhist, are they like Buddhist bells? This one was two, the little one was two. It has a nice, nice tone. And then this bigger one, a little clunkier, was $3. 
and I have no idea really what they're worth. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, 25, 45, we'll see. A drawer with some very cool drawer pulls. This is an oak drawer. I will probably sell it just as it is. I won't take those fixtures off. It was $3. You can see the tag right there. $3. I will price it at about $15. Last item was a dollar. It's a picnic basket. Wicker, wicker picnic basket. Very cool bottom and the top is wood and opens up. I hope to sell that for $25, 25 to $35. That's the last find for the day. If you made it this far, you are a trooper, an absolute trooper. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me and taking a look at my vintage finds. Like I said before, I hope you'll follow me here on YouTube. Check me out at adirondackgirlatheart.com. Check out my Facebook group, Your Vintage Headquarters. And as always, happy hunting.